Hey guys, it's Dark Rose is Fravelous. Um, I'm going to be hitting a little more on shelters, especially scouting for shelters. But before I get into that, I just want to point one thing out. We have snow. Which is kind of a good thing. I mean, we don't have a lot of it, but we do have snow. That's one thing I absolutely love. Um, anyway, back to shelters. Um, I'm actually going to be talking about scouting for shelters. The biggest thing is, uh, think about your topography. Basically, where you're at. This is topography. Hills, valleys, gullies, you know, flatlands, stuff like that. Um, that is one thing you actually do kind of want to look out for. Um, unfortunately, I don't have, I mean, I'm mostly hills here. But the biggest thing is looking for a rock overhang or cave that can provide pretty good protection. Um, a lot of it from rain, wind, you know, stuff like that. Practically to help kind of keep you dry and out of the elements. Um, the biggest thing to avoid is ridges. Um, those are actually a, lot, a little bit more windy. So that means just you're not going to get the heat that you need. It's going to be a little bit more uncomfortable for you. Um, which is why I kind of like it here. It does kind of help cut down on the wind. Not so much rain though. But um, another thing to kind of watch out for, try to avoid, is low-lying land near water. Um, that's where a lot of the uh, cold air tends to hover. Um, that's what will make it a little bit more cooler at night for you. Um, a little bit harder to stay warm, stay dry. Um, you actually want to have somewhere where it's more drier, more stable. Um, something out of the elements for you. Um, other than that, that's it for the topography part. Um, I'll have more for you guys coming soon. Hope you guys click like, subscribe, and I'll keep you posted.